Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here, and I'm so happy you decided to spend a little bit of time with me today. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day. It is a really pretty sunny day here, although it's really cold outside, but just seeing the sunshine just always gives me that extra boost. So what have I got planned for today? Well, I actually had hoped to be filming a Wantable video. I had ordered, they had a special with a spring preview style edit where the styling fee was only $5. So I went ahead and ordered one of those, and when I tracked it, it was supposed to be delivered today. And usually we get our FedEx deliveries earlier in the morning. And now when I just go ahead and track it again, it's saying that there is no delivery date available. So I'm not exactly sure where that wantable box is right now. Though we did have really icy weather the last like two nights ago so that's probably the reason that it's delayed so instead of filming my wantable video i decided that i would just vlog and spend the day with you so what have i got planned so i did order and it just came in yesterday i haven't even opened it i ordered this little gadget from amazon that is supposed to help clean your microwave so i thought we would go ahead and just try this little thing out and see how it works because my microwave actually does need a cleaning and then i'm so excited because i am going to be visiting my mother-in-law very soon down in florida hi marion and i'm really excited about it and I thought that I would go ahead and start putting my carry-on bag together I know I always find it helpful when I see what other people pack so I thought maybe it could be helpful to you if I can show you some things that I always ha make sure I have in my carry-on bag so I thought I would go ahead and do that and then I do have an eye doctor's appointment this afternoon and then possibly a stop at Costco because even though I was just there a couple of days ago, I forgot a couple of things. So possibly a Costco stop and then maybe even a Trader Joe's stop. And then some of you have mentioned that you like to cook with me and you like the recipes. So I thought that I would share a soup recipe with you later that I'm going to make for dinner. And it is super easy. I got the original recipe back in the paper probably, I don't know, it was probably like 30 plus years ago. And I have since like basically changed it and made it my own and I never even refer to the original recipe, it's just in my head. But it's one of those really easy, delicious soups that most of the time you can have everything in your pantry, which I really like. So I thought I would go ahead and share that soup recipe with you for dinner. So I hope that that sounds good to you. I'm really glad you're here to hang out with me for a little bit. And so why don't we go ahead and let's open that Amazon package that I got yesterday with the little cleaning gadget and clean my microwave first and then go, on, go from there. And once again, I'm just really happy you're here. Okay, so this is what I ordered. And a lot of you have probably seen this on other YouTubers channels or just in general. I'm probably really late finding out about this, but she's the angry mama <laughs> and the name just cracks me up. But apparently you fill water and vinegar in her and then heat her in the microwave, what it says, for seven minutes, then you let it stand for two more minutes and then you're able to really wipe down everything pretty easily in your microwave and clean it. So I thought I would give it a try. I mean, it's a funny little gadget and you probably could just put vinegar and water in a bowl or something, but you know, I love a kitchen gadget. So let's go ahead and try the Angry Mama and see how she does cleaning my microwave. Okay, first I thought I'd show you the inside of my microwave. And I will tell you, if you don't have one of these splatter covers, these really do help a lot because I just leave it in here and then everyone's forced to put this over whatever they're heating up in my household. And it does help, especially if you're warming up life leftovers like with spaghetti sauce where it doesn't, it keeps it from exploding all over. It'll explode on the, the lid here instead of all through your microwave. So these things are excellent to help you keep it clean, but something must have happened in here. I don't know if it's gonna show all that much. I don't know if, can you see some of these spots? 
try to zoom in. It's definitely not terrible, but it does need a little cleaning up here. So let's go get the angry mama going and see how she does on the microwave here. While Angry Mama is in the microwave doing her thing, I will say right now when it's, while it's in there, you can smell a strong vinegar smell in your kitchen. It did say on the instructions if you had some lemon juice to put in there that that might make it smell a little bit better. But I don't really mind vinegar smell too much, but it definitely you can smell the vinegar when she's in there doing her thing. But I wanted to tell you I am a horrible failure at my organizing projects so far <laughs> for this year. I had all these grand plans and I did the one cabinet with you on probably, I think it was my last vlog. And other than that, I have not, I did one drawer, I think in the kitchen, but I have been really slow moving. I've got that turntable or the Lazy Susan cabinet over in the corner, that that's what I really wanna tackle. But I'm trying to order, and let me know if any of you have them. I kind I saw on Amazon they had like pie shaped containers to put in those the lazy Susans that you could put things in. That I think might help. So I really just have to research those a little bit more and then probably place an order and then maybe I will tackle that lazy Susan cabinet. The one thing I have been doing, and I found this has been making a huge impact without being too difficult to do. Upstairs in my closet, I have been setting a goal for every week to take out five things that I have not worn in a long time, I know I'm not wearing, and donate them. And I've been doing this for a while now, and it's, it's you can see my closet is getting a little bit roomier, and I just feel better always when I can get rid of things that I'm not wearing, they're, I'm not loving them anymore. And then I do get a good boost thinking of somebody else thrifting, because I like to thrift, and if someone else can find something that I'm donating and they are happy to get that, that makes me feel good. So. That has actually been working for me. It's just very attainable to do five items a week for a while. I mean, obviously you have to stop at some point because you would give away everything. But I've been liking that and that's one organizational thing that I've actually been implementing and doing so far in this new year. So the microwave just stopped with Angry Mama in there. I'm gonna set it, the timer for two minutes because she's supposed to sit in there two minutes and then we can go ahead and wipe it down. Okay, let's see. The timer just went off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a rag and wipe down the inside and see how easily some of these areas come off. Okay, that may be a gimmick, but it really does make it easy to clean the inside of your microwave. Everything just wipes off so easily. I actually really like it. I, I would recommend Angry Mama. Okay, I wanted to show you what I pack in my carry-on every single time. And first of all, I'll see if I can link one similar to this because I have had this carry-on bag. I got it off of Amazon. Prob I've probably owned it at least 10, 15 years. It really holds up well. It's kind of that nylon, so it's really durable. And what I love is that it has this pocket in the back that this area here slides right over. I'll try to insert a picture of the handle of your wheelie suitcase. So it makes it really easy to carry when you've got uh, your suitcase and the bag all at once but I love it's got that extra little pocket and then I can fit quite a bit in here 
And the reason I like this size so much is that I like to put this right under the seat in front of me because I like to be able to access all of these things during the flight. So that's why I like this size bag. I know a lot of people just travel with the wheelie little suitcase and they stick them up in the overheads. I don't like that because I don't want to have to be getting into the overhead if I want something during the flight. So I keep everything that I will absolutely need during the flight right in this little bag here. And I have to say most of the time I do check a bag. I just find it easier. There's always like such limited overhead space. So I will usually check my bag and then this is the only thing that I'm carrying on. So what I try to do is make sure that if my bag is lost, I have everything in here that I could survive at least like a day or two without having my suitcase. So that is how I pack my carry-on. Okay, the first thing I purchased off of Amazon, I think it was, everything's Amazon. It's a reusable pr plastic bag for your liquid items. And I found that the ones that you can purchase, you can fit a little bit more than a regular quart Ziploc bag, which is the required size. Just make sure when you're, I'll link this one below, but if you're shopping on Amazon, just make sure that it's TSA approved for the size. So in here I have a skincare routine and the necessities, all the liquid necessities that I would need, like I said, for a day or two. So that is what I pack in my liquid bag. And then I make sure I have my round brush and a comb because I figure even if you get stranded, most hotels, they all have the blow dryers, so I wouldn't need to pack that. So I would be able to wash my hair and at least style it a little bit with the round brush and the comb. So I put those in. I always make sure I bring my Kindle for reading. So I've got my little Kindle in here in this little case, so I always bring my Kindle. I always bring a little bag of tissues. Of course, my glasses. Always some mints because you're sitting so close to other people that it's nice to have a mint, so I have some mints always in here. And for my little makeup case, these items here are all powder products. So I've got like powder foundation, powder blush, so nothing that needs to go in the liquid bags, but I have everything here that I could put on makeup and I would be able to look presentable for a couple of days. So I have my makeup case. And then I have another little bag that I always pack a like protein bar for a snack. And you want to make sure that you have your chargers easily accessible to you when you're traveling because nowadays there are so many outlets in the airports and there's also outlets on the airplanes that you can plug in your phone to charge it on a lot of airlines. I know United, they have plugs like right under the seat where you can charge your cell phone. So make sure you have your chargers easily accessible to you. And then I always make sure I have a pair of headphones. So if I wanted to watch any TV or movies on the individual TVs on the backs of the seats, I would have some earphones to do that. And then I also make sure every time I'm traveling that I pack some of these Shout Wipes. These have saved me more than once traveling. If you ended up spilling like orange juice on your jeans or your pants, these things come in so handy to just clean up little spills. You can also use these in a pinch if you didn't get your luggage right away. You could clean like the underarms of your shirts to kind of freshen it up a little bit. So I always make sure I travel with some shout wipes. These, like I said, these have come in handy so many times. I also make sure I've got some kind of wipe because I like to wipe down the tray table and the area around my seat, so I always make sure I've got some kind of wipe to clean down the tray table. What I also like to do is I pack an empty water bottle. Now you could use a, like a reusable one, but I always find it easy just to get a disposable water bottle, but it's empty because you know that you can't go through security with this much liquid. So it's an empty water bottle. And then what I do is after I have gone through security, in so many of the airports they have the water filling stations where you can get filtered water. So after I go through security, I go to one of those water stations and then I put in a little packet of liquid IV. 
and if you've never tried this stuff it's a wonderful one of these little packets I think it's equal to like three three bottles of water they've got electrolytes in here very hydrating so I will go ahead and add one of my liquid IVs to this empty water bottle fill it up once I'm past security shake it up and then I can drink this when I am flying and you all we all know that when you're flying it's easy to get dehydrated I have found this is the ticket a liquid IV you sip this throughout the flight that's just my little secret that I do so that's what I keep in here a couple extra packets of the liquid IV IV and all of those things and then as far as extra clothes I bring an extra outfit to wear so in this case going to Florida I've got some shorts I've got a night shirt and then I've got some extra underwear and another bra so I would be set and I try to plan whatever the shoes that I'm wearing on the plane would go with the outfit that I have packed in here if need be so I pack just some extra clothes and then the last thing I always make sure to bring with me is a blanket scarf. And this is just, they're really easy to pack up, but I get cold a lot of the time on flights and I want something to just wrap up and stay cozy in. So I always make sure that I have a blanket scarf in my carry-on as well. All right, so there is my carry-on and it's not too heavy. And I do like this one too because it's got the shoulder strap. So I just find that this works for me because everything that I could need during the flight or for a night or two, if I don't have my luggage with me, I would be able to survive with what's in here. So I hope that seeing me pack a carry-on is helpful and maybe you could get some tips. And I would love to hear from all of you. Are there any must-haves that you always bring with you in your carry-on? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. I would love to hear your must-haves for your carry-on bags too. All right, I've gotta quickly get Louie out for his second walk and then get to my eye doctor's appointment and then not sure if I'm gonna be bringing you into Costco with me, but if not, we will definitely be back here later to make soup for dinner. Okay, I am back from the eye doctor's and everything went great. Um, obviously, I had to take my contacts out for the exam, so I've got my glasses on. And I'll see, I think it might be annoying with the ring light, you know, giving me the um, reflection in my glasses. So maybe I'll go up and put my contacts back in for the rest of the vlog. But um, I'll show you quickly what I got at Costco and Trader Joe's. Not anything terribly exciting, but I'll show you this little mini haul. Okay, so at Costco, the thing that I really needed was paper towels. So I got a big container of paper towels. And then I also needed, Louie loves these nubs bones. So I got some of those for him. And I shouldn't have done it. I picked up a bag of Skinny Pop, but I just go through this stuff like crazy. I joke that it's not Skinny Pop when you eat the entire bag, which is what I tend to do most of the time. So I don't know why I did, but I know why I did. I love this stuff, but I picked up another big bag of Skinny Pop. And then these were new at Costco and they looked really good. The smoked salmon poke bowls. So I got a couple of those. I think my husband will like these too to try. So that was everything from Costco. And Trader Joe's is just a couple of things. I wanted some green onions. It's a nice garnish for the top of the soup that I'm making. Again, Louie, he, he loves these chicken strips from Trader Joe's. This is some refried beans that I need for the soup that I'm going to make with you. And then also sour cream is a garnish for the top of the soup. And I got some more blueberries. So that's everything that I got at Trader Joe's and Costco. All right, so the strangest thing just happened. Our power went out and I thought I was gonna have to end this vlog because I couldn't cook with you with no power. And then luckily it just came back on. So it was only off for about a half hour and it didn't get too cold in here. I had already started a fire and I got extra candles lit, but. Um, I'm so grateful that it came back on. So I can do the soup with you. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients and we're gonna get started cooking because I am really hungry. All right, I wanna show you the ingredients for this really easy soup. Um, you'll need chicken broth or I like to use the bone broth, so I have that. 
You will need some refried beans. I always get the fat free. Um, some kind of bean. I usually use black beans. Some rotel with the diced tomatoes and the green chilies. An onion, some garlic, some cumin. And then because I use the bone broth, I do add a little bit of this better than bouillon because I feel like the bone broth isn't seasoned quite so much as like regular chicken broth, so I add just a little bit of that. And then some cilantro, and then for garnish, you can use some green onions and some sour cream. So let's go ahead and get making this soup. To start the recipe, you're just gonna heat up a couple teaspoons of olive oil, and then start sauteing some chopped onions. garnish it is I put just a little dollop of sour cream and then I sprinkle a little bit of green onions on the top and then I like to eat it with some tortilla chips like the Trader Joe's quinoa black bean tortilla chips are excellent so I'm gonna eat mine with these but I'm gonna give you a close-up of what it looks like here there is the finished product and because the, the refried beans are in there, it's just really creamy. So if you like a Mexican style soup, I'm sure you would really enjoy this. All right, friends, I am gonna wrap this vlog up for today, but I wanna thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate that you take time out of your busy days to spend with me. So I will see you all next time, bye.